Hello, Scorpio. We're going to do a light little fun reading for you here for the Virgo full moon. Now, I'm just going to be honest. I've never known a Scorpio in my lifetime. And um, I'm a Virgo. And I've never known anybody with with this horoscope that I've been close to with Scorpio. Now, I want to tell you, I'm terrified of scorpions. So... That could be why, you know. Um, as I was looking over some things, you know, I know you're a really deep soul. To, you know, you go real deep. You think and you have a lot of magnetism and strength and courage within you to explore things that most people don't go. We just don't go there. Most of us don't. You're deep. You're capable of understanding deep things. And you have a wolf instinct. You're alone a lot. You like to think a lot. And uh, you you go through life by feeling. You don't so much as um, think as you feel. Because you're really deep. You're really deep. So, Scorpio, I have never had the pleasure of meeting you. But I have read a lot about you. And I know that you're a force to reckon with. I know that you take your time in everything you do. And that if you come back around and see things aren't worthy of being there or they don't need to be in your life, you're capable of breaking things and getting them out of your life as well. Um, you're great at building too, but you also know when to tear down. And that right there is genius to build something and use it while it's useful but then understand when it becomes not useful after time everything wears down and you know there's a death and actually your sign uh, represents death and rebirth so Scorpio let's see what is going on with this full moon in Virgo for Scorpio, which would mean, you know, a lot of things will be brought to practical matters, solutions will be found, because Virgo is a very practical thing, and she's all about finding the solution. So, with the full moon in Virgo, Scorpio, if you've been looking and, you know, working on things, a lot of solutions will be coming to the top. Let's see what we got for Scorpio from the astrological deck. Ah, King of Wands. And you are a bar sign, aren't you, Scorpio? And it looks like you're walking in your purpose and your power. And your, um, you know, this king is uh, fire and air here. He's got his wand full of magic and power got a direct stare going on so uh, let's just see what kind of power what where are you going what's what you this is all about leadership and bringing people with you so let's see what kind of project you got going on Scorpio we're gonna go to the light seers deck and we're gonna see what's going on in your mind and your spirit and the collective of Scorpio. Hmm. Eight of Swords. Well, as I was saying, you're supposed to be in your feelings like the wolf. You walk like the wolf. So if you're in your head in a mental prison or thinking too much about something, you need to definitely move down into your heart. Or maybe you're wanting to stop thinking about something. Let's see, what are you thinking about? What's what's going on? What's what's got you all tied up? A nine of pentacles. A business. Are you thinking about starting a business? Are you working on a business? It's harvest time according to this, nine of pentacles. And you should be harvesting good things. So move down into your heart, Scorpio. Okay, what kind of harvest? Ah, giving and receiving. 
So you've been giving, Scorpio, and you're waiting on your receiving, right? All right, well, it's coming. You're about to receive what you've been given. Yeah, yeah, you're receiving what you've been giving. And it looks good, yeah, straight from, you know, straight from God, coming from above, you know, the higher planes. So whatever you've been doing, Scorpio, it's about to come to fruition. You're about to receive. Let's see, let us go to the good tarot. We're going to be receiving. So what's Scorpio been doing that's been so awesome? Where, where you been that, you know, you've been leading people, you've been leading your family, somehow you've been leading and bringing people into better spaces and places of giving and receiving, harvesting. Ah. You've changed your way of thinking about yourself, Scorpio. You've released all your problems now. You're no longer in the Nine of Swords or the Eight of Swords. This is release of everything. You know, letting them go. Talking better to yourself. Loving yourself more. Being more kind and gentle and patient with yourself. Good. Working on your healing, and you are a healer, Scorpio. You're so deep, and you can go into places that, well, like the scorpion, most of us can't go. You can go deep down, and you can find things that, you know, that need to be brought back up and worked on and healed. So, so do that, do that for us all, because when you bring it to the light, you bring it to the light for all of us, and you bring it to us all. Four of our four pentacles. You've been holding back and you've got more in you, and you know you do. So don't be shy, Scorpio, because I know you can be shy. And you usually only come out when you have to. So let that fire burn and um, show yourself to us. Reveal yourself. We're ready. Don't hold back. Don't be shy. You've released, you've released everything. You're no longer clinging or hanging on to anything or obsessed. And um, now it's just walking into the, you know, just stepping up. Just step up and release and allow yourself to be who you truly are. You're very deep and magnetic and beautiful and strong and a force to reckon with, Scorpio. Kind of, kind of scare me. <laughs> I've never had the pleasure of, of knowing a deep Scorpio, um, but I've read about you and you're very mysterious, you're very charismatic, and you got deep, deep magnetism. So the advice of the cards is saying to me that you're going to release this full moon. There we go. I don't do reversals. And um, you're going to be releasing and walking in the wolf instinct back to your nature, back to our true nature, back to our wild nature, right? Right. I never want to give up our wild. Our wild is what makes us interesting. Yeah, we need that wild. Okay, so after Scorpio now is going to release and no more, no more holding back. You're going to go out there. You're not going to be shy. You're going to have a good time. And you're going to receive the Ace of Wands. Great inspiration. See it right there? Yeah, fire, inspiration, new beginnings, moving forward, jumping, jumping. Let's see what this represents here. Oh, this is Scorpio. See ya? No, that's Virgo. I'm sorry. But it's a yes. You're going to move forward. You want to work on your root chakra. 
you know, your root chakra, you know, down here by your pelvis. You want to put your feet on the floor. You want to see yourself rooting deep into the earth to get yourself good and grounded. That shouldn't be hard for you, Scorpio, because scorpions love going below the earth, beneath. They're safe down there. They like it in the dark. So take your little torch here and go down. It says right here, beginnings, opportunity, strength, inspiration, vitality, passion, creativity, a new venture. And that's exactly what you need after this. After holding back, being shy, releasing everything, a new adventure is exactly what you need. Um, personal development, a career, active, a new action. Um, we've got, this is Virgo and Leo and Cancer and Air. And yes, and yes, we got the Virgo new moon coming up, Scorpio. So it looks like you're about ready to um, light up. This is card number one. You can relate to that, right, Scorpio? You can relate to number one. You can relate to that. Let's see what we got going on here. You got a new venture, a new adventure coming. What kind of new adventure? Ooh. What kind of new adventure does Scorpio have? Ace of Cups. And there, there is Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Libra. Ace of Cups. A new venture in love, beginning of prosperity, abundance, a new relationship, opportunities of fortune, love, joy, health, spirituality, creativity, positive potential, intuition. Yes, yes, yes. We have Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and the Earth grounded. And if I'm not mistaken, that's air, fire, and Earth. A lot of fire and air and Earth. Ace of Cups. And this is also your heart chakra right here. If you want to work on your heart chakra. If you don't know how to do that, I would like to, sh to give you a quickie. <laughs> on how to open your heart chakra. You uh, want to see yourself right here first. And you want to go from your third eye down to your heart. And you want to see your heart open like a big green butterfly. You want it to just crack open and allow it to expand. And you want to see it growing as big as the whole planet. And then eventually the universe. Yes. Work on your heart. Open it up. That's what this is. Yes, yes, yes. Your heart is going to be very happy. And you have two aces here. And that's a good deck. That's a good hand. Yeah. Well, we're going to go one more. Who knows? You could draw three. Let's see. So you've got a uh, fire and water here which means there's going to be a lot of energy, a lot of energy. And it's going to get grounded because Virgo is an earth sign and we got the moon going to be in Virgo. So whatever things that you're looking for on this full moon of practicality is going to happen for you. It says love, it says inspiration, firework, the hermit, you're going into solitude good for the full moon you should it is a hermit full moon right virgo and the hermit are one and the same this is um introspection contemplation seeking wisdom receive guidance mentorship spirit guide seeker not a traditional solitude this is virgo and the question and the answer is maybe so we have two yeses and a maybe. And I'm going to end that here, Scorpio. And what they're saying is, yeah, I'll go in. Go in and go deep because this Virgo full moon is very practical. And you will find everything within that you need. And it's been really great talking to you, Scorpio. I hope you like this video. And if you do, please subscribe and share with your friends. And come back and visit me later. Love you guys. Bye-bye.